Hey gang, wrapping up Trick or Treat and painting all the candy in the monster's bucket. Uh, I thought I would be okay painting on top of the orange color I sprayed on it, but now I wish I had listened to myself when I thought to paint the candy white first. Uh, what I would do now, or when I do mine in another 10 years maybe, or I'll probably forget, is uh, after you prime this part, I would mask off the candy before you spray the orange or whatever color you use and uh, because even after dull coating the paint had a bit of a gloss to it which made painting the candy kind of difficult. Um, if I was starting off with white it would have been a lot easier. You, you could even use transparent colors and get some different looks there. But I thought using cell vinyl paint would be okay since it's very opaque and brushes you know nice and easy. It went on okay, but it would have been better if I were painting on top of either straight primer or white paint. You could probably just get away with painting everything black and dry brushing some colors on top of that. Most of this you won't see anyway, but I like trying to include as much detail as I can. Figure the sculptor put it in there. He took the time to do it, I'll take the time to paint it. All right, this decal has me a little nervous and curious, but I have it scanned, so if something does go wrong, um, I got a backup. As much as I've been dreading it, um, you know, let's let's record it so if it just falls apart in the water, y'all you know, can laugh or cry with me. Here's the instructions that came with it. I am not gonna follow those that say place the entire decal in water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the sections out. I cut it as close as I can to the letters. Get pretty close to the, to the edge, and then you'll have less of an edge to silver or look funky. I'm really grateful I was sent this to work on because I got out my old decal and it looks like I had already cut it out and I don't know where the uh, letters are. Mine looks a little faded. Maybe the printer had less ink. But yeah, anyway, I'm still just dragging this out I don't want to do it. Okay, what I do is I pour a little of this micro set just in the lid here. Got a couple of tweezers, some Q-tips. I'm gonna pour a little water in this lid here. Let's see. Yeah, I probably No, I'm glad I painted that. Looks like there'll be a little bit of a blue outline to it. It's gonna be great. 
pre-treat the surface here. Well, I wonder if it's, if it's ready here. On Frankenstein's it is not coming off that paper at all. Okay, I swear I can tell by looking at it that it's that it's ready. It just looks a little different. Let's see if I'm full of shit. Full of shit. Nope, there it goes. Come on, Frankenstein's. Yeah, it's disintegrating. I mean, we could save. Well, that was nerve wracking. I'm gonna do the bottom part. At least now I know to just be patient. Airplane modelers are probably watching me and they have so much more experience with decals than I do. So, hopefully you guys aren't yelling at your screen. We got this. We got this by the ass. Kind of nervous to put any of this micro set on there. I don't want to move it around. Almost there. Too bad for that app though. This is a big solid piece. I'm hoping that this doesn't, this shouldn't tear so easy. And I've had brand new decals do that, where they, they tear like that, but... Recently though, I, I had to make my own decals for a project, for a, uh, I figured I had these pinstripes in this uh, kind of pattern all over them. And um, they just, they went everywhere. I just used laser printer decal paper. And, um, Printed out my decals on that at uh, the print shop. And they were really thin. They didn't tear or they were tough. And I was impressed, so. It's good to know that you can make your own. I mean, I've made decals with, uh, just at home with your, with your inkjet printer. Sorry, man, but they suck. Just don't even, don't even waste your time on it. You gotta, Spray them with the sealer. Uh, they fall apart when you're using them, when you're trying to apply them. And there's just, there's no reason to do that when you can just do it with the laser printer. And if you don't have one, go, you know, spend 50 cents and have it printed out. I usually prefer a tray over a cup. Because I've had decals just come off and float to the bottom and, uh, Tray is usually easier to work with, but maybe I should stick to the cup. Maybe instead of making a YouTube video about playing decals, I should be watching YouTube videos about flying decals. Oh, there it goes. All right, it's coming off. And guess what? No, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, look at 
look how shitty that looks. Guess what? I should have enough decals here. another one but that's gonna be really easy to to fix and I know it's gonna look fine so I'm using this super glue from Michigan Toy Soldier that's designed for use on resin and um, I love it. It's good stuff. It was recommended. I saw it. Uh, Norbert from Resin Maniacs, he recommended it and did a video where he tested it and I was sold. So I, I picked this up at Wonderfest. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's nine bucks for this uh, little bottle. Not sure what shipping will be. I really hate having to mix up two part epoxy and wait uh, five minutes for it to cure. I just make sure that there's uh, bare resin exposed, otherwise you want to scrape the paint off. And we're just going to put a little drop in there. I'm going to put a little bit on here as well. And it, it sets up pretty quick, so let's see, it's already it's already set. If you've got a couple of parts that you want to kind of massage into place or something like that, uh, I would not use I would not use this stuff because it it sets up quick, and once it does, you're not getting it uh, back apart. I'll glue this head on next. scene. It's like that old commercial with the uh, hard hat. See, I'd still be holding that head, waiting for the epoxy glue to dry. Very nice. Not bragging, just uh, the glue is very nice, and I'm very happy that all that glued together so quickly. Okay, that wraps up Trick or Treat. Although I'm a little disappointed I didn't get mine finished, I'm real happy I got this done. And to my customer, before Halloween, he should actually get it today. Thanks for sticking with me and watching along. Uh, hopefully you found it entertaining or helpful. Maybe you've got this kit on the bench yourself. I'm going to leave a link in the description to my website where you can see some final pictures. And I'll also leave a link to Michigan Toy Soldier and that super glue I talked about. Uh, you should definitely give it a try. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a like. 
and stay tuned for the next kit.